This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. And let me know how I'm getting on as well. I'd like feedback of all types. So thank you once more to Fan Home for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Let's get on with it. Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 56 of Building Your Own R2-D2. Uh, this issue, we're going to be doing a bit of dome work and a little bit of put work. I like it when it mixes things up, but nothing, you know, it's all coming together. Uh, so, first of all, building a galaxy, uh, Silic Pick. Tuesday, the 12th of April, 1982. Uh, the first day of shooting on the sail barge, yeah. There we go. Two weeks of shooting for that sail barge sequence, apparently. So I like Pit and everything, all good. I liked it. It was great. It was just the the opening was just excellent. I mean the whole thing, you know, it was just excellent, but yeah. Uh we've got Professor Hewing. Huang Huang? I don't know. Um yeah, some sort of research and uh um yeah, a puzzle of how an ancient Mark IV architect droid understood more about the Force. Don't know. I don't know at all. Obviously from uh, Home Wars by the looks of it. Uh, yep. Yeah. Lots of stuff about him. Uh, delivery robots, drones, and drone vans. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that drones will actually work. Does that? I mean, that, that's going to get nicked, isn't it? If you see one of those tooling around. Yeah, I'm not sure that that's a thing. Origami drones, that's quite cool. It's interesting. It's got some sort of cage around it. Hmm. Uh, and one that just drops life-saving supplies in the middle of nowhere, wherever it needs to be. Uh, right, yes, so we've got a couple of dome panels. We've got the foot bits to put in place, which we shall be doing, following those instructions, in just a moment. So I'll clear the bench, I'll get the parts ready, and we'll actually get the building done. So the parts provided this time, as I say, we've got half of the foot and the connector that's going to go on there, but not quite yet. First of all, we're going to be attaching those. We're doing those onto the dome, which, as I've said, I kept in the casing just to keep it protected while it's not being used. So uh, I can take it out of there for now. I'm doing this on a soft mat anyway. Uh, if you're not, then you might want to use the inside of the dome just to give you something to work against. But uh, say so I'm okay as that is. So this is going. Where is it going? It's working our way around. We've already done these panels here. We're working around on these next two. Uh, so obviously this one is going to go in there, filling in all of that, and the silvery one is going in next to it. So we've got to put the put the uh, sticky sticky back plastic in place on those. Uh, the short ones. There's three of them. You may notice. I'm going to use this pair of tweezers to do this because it's easier. Uh, the short ones are going on here, so one will go across the bottom, like that. One will go across the top, like that. And the third will go in the middle, because this one's actually got two sections to it, although it's one piece. It's carefully got to go. In the middle there, trying not to over overlap up or down. It's proving more difficult than I expected on this. I don't remember having this much problem before. There we go. That will do that. So let's just get that stuck down and then peel off the backing piece pieces rather because there's three of them on that one and that one go 
Right, then this is going to go in there. I'm going to put it in place roughly. A bit like that. And then turn it over. And make sure it's right before we push it down in place there, because that's better. Push down the three positions. And that is that. Then we're going to do exactly the same again. With the big one. Working our way around here, so we'll put one across the top, like that, and one across the bottom. Get rid of the rubbish later. Now the positioning of these isn't terribly important because although these are holding. The panels in place they're not going to be the main thing that's holding the panels in place these are only sort of holding it in place temporarily while we're doing the construction yeah that's that uh nope still need those to get rid of the backing that one and that one and then, same as before, we'll get that lined up. And distance around all the edges. Get it pushed down top and bottom. Now, before I put this away in the packaging, I'm going to give it a quick buff over just to get rid of fingerprints and things from it. So, uh, yeah, make sure you keep it looking nice. Uh, but before we do all that, we've still got other things to worry about. Why is that sticky? That's sticky because I peeled off the entire sticky thing. One side of that not sticky. Yeah, I peeled off the sticky from the bottom. That wasn't very good. I will put that back in place. Let's uh, try that again. Didn't realise that I'd uh, messed up like that. Uh, right, so I'm going to push that to get that out of the way. That in there against the edge, and then peel it off without actually peeling off the stickiness that we're going to need. Very strange. This is proving stickier to the to the uh, backing than it is to the metal. Try that again. There we go. That's definitely still there now. So let's get that pushed in. Back down. That's better. As I say, it doesn't need to hold it forever, just until we get the, the interior sorted. So that's that now. There we go. Uh, now we're going to be doing the foot. So to do that, we need the rest of the leg. Uh, this is fitting onto the other side here. Uh, so, yeah, obviously it only goes in one place, really. There's four pins that come through, but two screws we're going to be using to hold it in place. And there are two of these that I haven't put away yet. One through there. And one on the other side. Do it exactly the same. So this will hold that in place. And then the other side obviously will be attached. So because we're attaching this from the inside, it's keeping the nice uh, sort of hero look from the other side. Uh, and this slides in over there. That's where the power coupling is going to fit in. Now that's going to fall out, but I'm pretty sure soon we're going to be putting the other half of the leg on. So I'll worry about that then. That is that. That's the building done this time around. Uh, stick around for more and more of other things. Stay safe and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye for now.